Reclaim your confidence with STL Medical Weight Loss. Are you tired of endless dieting and minimal results at the gym? STL Medical Weight Loss offers a revolutionary program. With their highly effective injectable peptides, these medications have been approved by the FDA for weight loss, and you can lose 20 to 30 pounds in 90 days. Their telemedicine service delivers the medication right to your door, so you have privacy and convenience. Obesity rates are climbing in America. One in two Americans suffers from this problem. So call STL Medical Weight Loss at 636-628-6604 to book your consultation. And mention Tanya and you will get $200 off your first two months. That's 636-628-6604 to book your first consultation. Mention my name, Tanya, and you will get $200 off your first two months. The website is stlmedweightloss.com. This is One Date to Love, as you know, and I am here with my sister, Tamara. Um, we're going to talk about, she doesn't know, oh. all kinds of stuff. So I just thought you might want to know that that's what we're going to do. Is that, that's what we're going to do. Uh, okay. We're going to talk about yeah. stuff. Okay. Yeah. Well, like I told the other people that were here, first, yes. the first people that I had on the first show that's was cool. Frank oh. DeCopolis okay. and his wife, oh. Taya Anderson. Cute. He was on The Guiding Life for 22 years. Wow. And... Our host, Lori, yes. watched that show for a long, long time. Oh, so she, wow. And so I said, be nice to Lori. She really, really likes you. <laughs> so, she really digs you. So, so yeah. he thought, oh, isn't that sweet? And I said, no, I'm serious. She didn't know anybody else I was having. Oh, she, knew you. <laughs> she didn't know anybody else. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. And she certainly didn't know me. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But it was really, it was really, really cool. Aww. And um, and they've been married a long time. And they've yeah. got two kids. They moved out here from New York. Oh, they were New Yorkers. And... Um, but I watched The Guiding Light with Mom. You know, Mom watched The Guiding Light. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't watch The Guiding Light. Yeah, well, we, she did. Yeah. Mommy and I did all yeah. the time. So that was fun. And they're out here now. And now she's making jewelry. She's making jewelry out of, like, pearls and leather and stuff like oh, that. Oh, beautiful. So, and they have a great, great marriage. Huh? Yeah, they okay, do. Good. Yeah, they do. That's got a So you were good. talking to them about love or you were talking to them about long-term marriage? Well, or? I was talking to them about the fact that they knew that they were supposed to be together the minute that they met one another. Oh, that. Yeah. And so that I is that is authentic. So I told them that that was sort of a like a God thing, like a spiritual thing. Yeah. So I told them about how when you went to the Deepak Chopra Center, you yes. had this what was it like a feeling or an epiphany or what? It was an epiphany and intuition that I had to call you and I had to go to the private room because when you're at the Deepak Chopra Center, you're not really supposed to be on the phone. chatting. Definitely no phones, no screens, nothing. And um, they had a little private room that you could go to make a call. And I just was like, this is so crazy, but I have to call my sister. And we were talking all, all the time. And you knew that I had gone there for some, you know, stomach stuff. And I was learning meditation. And I, you know, you're my big sis. And I was like, I, I just had this feeling you should go. And you were so cute. And you go, okay, Tamara, if you really think I should go, I'll go. I just have to figure out my schedule. I'm like... Make it happen, and you did. And but I said, wouldn't you? Could have you told me this when I had a job? I had just left my show. Well, moved, I wouldn't put that together. Moved out here, and I said, and that's what I was trying oh. to say is that if I you told me this when I was making all that money every week, but I had just left my show. That's why you were saying it's going to be fiscally challenged. It's going to be challenging. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, welcome. So to we the went yeah. anyway, right? That's an we after anyway. Life, yeah. And then and you went, and I went, and I and I met Ed. Oh, and it gets better though. Which the part that I love? Which part is that? After you went, and then you called me, and um, you know I didn't hear from you. You know, um, ah, no, no, no. You called me from the same little room, and you said, "Oh, there's this guy, and he keeps talking." Like you know, during like we're in a seminar, there's like six of us, and he's like, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, okay." Well, so, and you're like, "He's just really getting oh, on my nerves." Just. Is obnoxious. He thinks he knows everything. And I said, you know, you can definitely just ask the counselor and the host to have a silent meal. And you were like, okay, I want to do that. I want to do that. 
So then I just didn't know how many, lo- you know, I lost time, you know, and maybe two more days had gone by and I'm like, I wonder what happened. You ring me up and uh, you go, um, oh my God, it was fantastic. You remember that guy <laughs> that I told you about? And I said, yeah. And I go, you love him, don't you? And you said, yes, I'm happy in love with him. This is my guy. This is my and guy. I was like, I knew So it. that's what I was telling them about this morning. That's why you went. That's, and I always, yeah. But then I always felt like if you guys got in a fight, that was my fault too. <laughs> oh, God. No, that's there was that's a, my own code of conduct. There was a psychiat- or psychiatrist that was here. Her name's Carol Lieberman. She yeah. was here. And she would tell you that you're being very codependent. It was codependent. I just nailed and it. And I talked to her about narcissism. Oh, wow. And narcissistic people. Mm. And I talked to Sean Kanan, mm-hmm. who's got this um, uh, book called The Way of the Cobra. Oh, that I've okay. been listening to. Okay. And he goes into all these different kinds of personalities. Yeah, well, you know, my, my bestie, Nadine, is, was married to the Wolf of Wall Street. The Wolf so, of Wall Street, that's right. And her right. book comes out today or tomorrow. Um, and what's it called? Like, run? It's called Run Like Hell. Run Like Hell. Oh, God. Which is right out of the mouth of a Brooklyn girl. Yeah, you know? yeah. And yeah. Um, even though she was authentically, like, from England, her parents came over to New York. And mm-hmm. then, as a Bud Light girl, she met... Jordan Belfort and then but she's taught me so much about narcissism and mm-hmm. um and and sadly you know sometimes you just they're so charismatic and they're so outgoing and they can make you feel like they love bomb you they yeah yeah that, that's, that's what he, she, he was talking about that Sean was and yeah so, so was she it's hard to to you know she was talking about something called bad she wrote a book called bad boys and the women who love them yeah. and how to leave them or something like that. It yeah. was really, it was really good. It's so interesting because I didn't think I liked bad boys. I did when I was in my early, like late teens, early twenties. Yeah, then I stupid. thought I was clean, You think you're, clean, yeah, you think you're out. over it. I really thought, oh no, I met this man that I'm going to be with the rest of my life. And then come to find out there was underlying issues. So yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. But I'm I, glad you went to Chopra Center, and I'm I glad you too. had 21 years of marriage and 20, Beautiful what, five kid. together. Beautiful or, children. Yeah. So I was also talking to people today about the dating sites that you got me on. Oh, yes. Well, I'm not giving them any cred. No. Y- you're not? I don't want to. How could you not give them any cred? I could give apps cred, but try. They're not going to pay me any money to promote them. I know. Well, maybe we'll get them to sponsor the show. Well, maybe we could. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. And if you want to edit it out, yes. Oh, I think but I, I started like first, you know, which you, you want to know like what I started? Match.com was too confusing to me. I didn't like that. Okay. First I started with Bumble, mm-hmm. which girl, which was, was designed from by women. Mm. And then, you know, you get to swipe. If you like somebody, but you're swiping. And the first time my my daughter, like Natalia, showed me, and she just starts going, and she's swiping like fast, like fuck. I'm, I'm like, wait, wait, wait. He's wait. What does he do? What does he do? I, it doesn't matter what he does. It doesn't. He's done. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. I come on. I'm like, you know, I got down to forty nine. I wasn't gonna be like, you know, um, just looks, just looks. But the little kids, you know, the young people are That's like, all they care about. Yeah. So, um, but they wouldn't think anybody that was in our age group was cute. I guess not, but you know, sometimes they do. Unless it's Robert Gamma Jr. and Iron Man. Yeah, and so it's, and Iron oh, Man. God, not yeah, so much that's, now. That's but, hot. Yeah, that's he's hot. hot. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you no, know, I did that, and then um, and then I had people like finding me these uh, these people that will find you, um, I guess through like Facebook or Instagram, and they're matchmakers. And I had some fascinating dates. You did? Mm-hmm. How much did that cost? Oh, I didn't pay. You didn't? You didn't have any money to pay. Well, what, did, what did you do? What happened? Um, they call me up. They go, we have so-and-so. We'd like to interview you and, and interview you. And then um, then I get on the call with no all No one's called women. me. What? No one's oh, called well, me. Uh, you know what? Actually, I need to do that. <laughs> I totally forgot about that because that was a long about. time ago. But that was initially when I first got dumped and I'm getting these like texts and emails we found you on the internet. Mm-hmm. Um, good thing they didn't find everything about me on the internet, but good stuff they found. And then they said, we have these guys. So the problem was some of these guys were don't just have any bad so stuff on the weird. I was being facetious. But they? there was a lot of weird, weird men that I ended up having dates with. Um, 
oh my God. And they'd probably, they see me now to be like, she's not talking about me. Right. But, um, yeah, I've had that experience too yeah, whoops, myself. Whoops, I'm like, who's whoops, watching whoops, this? Who's yeah. watching this? But I did, I wanted to, you know, give everybody, every man an opportunity. So, and then they had to, they had to send a car for me and pick me up and take me to dinner. And, um, but it was so hard to start to dating. It, the, the whole dating, the whole thing was so scary. And then I think when I, I told you about it. I said, you, you really have to do this because you can't just sit around and, and do the same thing every day. You're not going to meet anybody, you know, and you don't want to go to a bar and meet some guy and all your friends are married. Mine were. And so That's I really what I was didn't talking have to any Ka- options. I was talking to Carol about that. Yeah, exactly- I had no options. And matter of fact, I started getting kind of like not invited to everything. Um, mom said, cause you know, you know, the married women don't want the beautiful woman at their house. Which I was like, give me a break, mom. My friends are amazing. But my mom is, you know, I'm Southern. So she was very like, nope, they're not going to watch you over there because, <laughs> you know, what's going to happen. They're going to think you're just going to sweep up their husband. I'm like, oh, mom. Never, never. These are my friends. But I do have to tell you that a lot of people thought divorce was contagious, you know. You're and kidding. They, so all of a sudden, like. I just didn't get invited to things. And my younger one, gee, she also thought she wasn't getting invited to things. Like, Your baby? Mm-hmm. Our, my niece? Mm-hmm. Thought she wasn't getting invited to things? Yeah, but- like we had like a curse or something because my, as you know, my ex always treated me like I was super special in public. And so no one could understand why this sudden change of heart that mm-hmm. he had. Mm-hmm. So, um, and that was complicated. Yeah, of course. And I didn't know what to do about that. So then I decided, you know, I would date and then take a break. And then I would date and then take a break. I also had, you know, as you know, a very litigious divorce, which was ridiculous. It didn't have to be. um, What I thought was funny is when we both were being pursued by the same person. Yes. I thought that was weird. Not my fault. Weird as yes, crap. But weird well, as but, crap. Well, you know, if you and, start and that's what ha- girlfriends should know this though, is that if they're in the same little pool of age and they're looking in a certain area of men, it starts to shoot, you know get small. It gets small. Real fast. Real fast. Yeah, Especially if you're looking for oh I want him to want kids and I I mean I don't want him I, I want someone that has kids and loves family but I don't want more kids you know and I don't want his age range to say he's looking for 25 to 45 when he's How 70. about 19 to 99? Yeah there you go. Don't you love 19 and to 99? That's 99? when I'm like that's when I go maybe they just like just, what is wrong with they this didn't person? Check the box. I know. They don't want to check the box. That's right. That's right. right. Yeah. But it was interesting. That was funny. So so what do you do when you see it says I love a woman that's financially independent. Well, then I know I'm not that person yet. I mean, I had to go, my divorce was bad. What do I think? I think that they pretty much just want you to be, I think what I, what I get from that is. Does that mean they're, you you're, they're, you're paying for dinner? No, because I still, I think chivalry is not dead and I think women need to like. But I don't you know, hear a person that, I don't think a person that's chivalrous would say that they want somebody that's financially independent. I think that just means they don't want to be a sugar daddy. That's what I think that means. Like, I don't want to come in and sweep you off your feet, get you out of debt, you know, blah, 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 um, unless that comes with the cost. Like, you're going to do what I want, and we're going to travel, and you're going to quit, you know, um, you'll quit your job or whatever. But I, I do think they want you to be, I think it's because they, that's, I really think that's what that is. Hmm. I don't know if you necessarily need to be incredibly, like, think about that. Financially independent in the Midwest or financially independent in Los Angeles or New York. It's quite different. The cost of living is well, we're tremendously both, different. We're both financially independent. It depends on what level of de- right, right. level of financial life you want. Yeah, and I think that's where you, you shouldn't take offense to that, I don't think. I do think you should ask the question, what does that you mean by that? And humor is very important. When you're dating, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because um, I think if you come in too serious and too, um, you know, you really find out if you can read people when you start dating. Because you're, because you know, I was out of practice. I was oh, with somebody yeah. since I was 21. Yeah, I know. So um, I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm just telling them everything, and then your know, mom's like, "Stop that! Do not! <laughs> Why did you mention that?" I'm like, <laughs> Why'd you tell him that? What happened? Everything was going great. And then mom would say, love love this one. Yeah. Seems like all the guys you were dating are getting married. You dated or getting married. Oh, God. That's a terrible thing. What's happening? I'm like, 
That's a terrible thing. Oh, my God. Thing I'm not calling say. back. I, I'm not calling you because uh, <laughs> he was a wackadoodle. He sent me a picture of his private parts. Oh, well, you didn't mention that. I'm like, yeah, a lot of them do that. <laughs> I didn't want to see that. That's I didn't so ask weird. for a picture of your... Isn't that the weirdest thing? Tallywhacker. I when did that happen? When I did that start to be a thing? It seemed like it could be a thing. Like, oh, I'm thinking about you. There's oh, a picture. God, this and is it, so it's bizarre. The first time it happened to me, I thought I was going to die. Because I didn't have anybody to talk to about it. Like, Did you recognize it? I know what one looks like. Did you know where it comes from? I knew it came from his body. This person, you knew who it was? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Like, we're talking, and I'm thinking about you. I loved our conversation tonight. I started getting really around. Here's a picture of my... Oh, my God. I'm like... I would die. I was. I would die. It's the first time, you I know. I would die. And I'm going to tell you what. It happened more than once. I would be so it's insulted. Been like I would be four, insulted. It's happened like four or five times. I would be so times. insulted. I wouldn't know what to say. Well, that's why, insulted. you know, and then I'm like, and then I'm like, okay, that was gross. Thank you very much. And I think you have to be humor about it. I don't, think I don't it's know if funny. you do this with other people, but I'm not necessarily interested in seeing that because I haven't even seen it in person yet. So I don't need a pick up here. I don't need it. I, you know, give it some time, my friend. You know, like. It seems so disrespectful to me. It seems I rude. I think it's, well. Is it my men, age? I, is it my age? I don't know if it's age. I just think men want to say, you turn me on. But they don't, maybe, maybe they're, what I've realized is that people, unless they're, you know, serial daters or serial, serial marriage guys that have had 10 marriages or three or something, or four, <laughs> you know. Um, I was the fourth. No, remember? I remember asking. <laughs> that was the other thing. I was like, well, how long was the last one? Because you were like, I don't think I should do this. And you're like, the last one was like 19 years. I go, then then that's a good 12. Good. Or 12. Yeah. But still, over the 10 mark is good. Um, but anyway, so no, I got I got a lot of weird pictures. And I and I and that's when you have to say, you, you have didn't... to go, well, maybe they don't know. I would tell you. And a lot of them, quite frankly, are shooting up the testosterone. And they're just so excited. That thing has its own zip code. <laughs> that they want you to see it. Can you believe that? And I'm like, oh, gee, <laughs> I do not need to see that. They're shooting off the testosterone. Oh, my God. Well, what's just like women do hormone replacement therapy. Men are shooting up the testosterone. They're getting the veins in their neck. They're back at the gym. You know, they're showing the guns. And I'm like, okay, a little goes a long way. Mm. You don't need to have like your. No, I'm not kidding. I and know. here comes the penis pics. I mean, it's I just, just. I just would die. I just would die. I'm glad that hasn't that's happened. That's why. To me. That's when I would take a break from dating, literally. I'd be like, okay, maybe I'm just, it's too much yeah. too soon. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Maybe too much too soon. Well, I just don't know what any of the rules are. I just know what my rules always were. So I don't know, like, what. Um, when are you supposed to have sex with somebody? Are you supposed to wait till you get married to have sex? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Are my kids watching? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, is, it, is um, it something that should wait a while? Does a man think that you're a bad girl or not a good, not a good kind of bad girl, but this? a bad kind of good girl? I don't know. Should we just cut this conversation right no, now? No, I just think. I just don't know. First of all, when are. mom started, you know, our dad died at 47, right? Yeah. So mom. Mom was 48. 46. Six. That's yeah. right. That's right. So. When our mom started dating, and you were out in LA, you were shooting one um, one of the one of the soaps, GH or whatever. Um, and she starts dating. She was so clueless, you know. And I do think that finally, when she met her perfect match, things went a little faster, because I I I caught them in some very interesting little snippets of lies, you know. A dog they were walking. There was no dog. There no dog. <laughs> You know, things like that. And um, and mom was just lighting up and she said, I'm tingly. And I was like, oh, I bet the honors are having sex, you know. But And I was happy about it. I, I just wanted them to be happy. But I, I still think, you know, I think when you're a big, when you're, I, I, I there's still, I just, their chemistry is so important, mm -hmm. you know. And I do think that well, the thing, you can end yeah. up hopping in bed with somebody but the girls have to remember that, you know, like dad would say, if they can get it there, they if they can get the milk from the cow, whatever the saying is, <laughs> you get the milk from the cow, then you don't need the 
grocery store. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it but, low fat? Know, is it oat yeah. milk? Yeah, kind of, I don't know. Yeah. Is it almond milk? But if milk, you're giving it out, exactly. they're not going to pay it, that, for That's right. Something. That's I'm right. Like, well, are they paying for a hooker? I, really I don't understand. know. That's I'll disgusting. I'll just be the hooker and then I get a great dinner. No, that's I'm kidding. horrible. I'm Which ones do you think are good, though? Do you think Match is good? No. I do know a lot of people that like Match. E-Harmony. I know people like E-Harmony. Bumble. I still think Bumble's good for younger people. Tinder. That's I, I still think that's for hookups. I thought so too, but then somebody's going to be on here tomorrow that's that was on a show with me. Yeah, who was married? But maybe it wasn't was in, when it, maybe because it was initially like the first one. Maybe that's yeah. it. Maybe that's well, you'll it. find out. Yeah. Um, Have you ever been flying? I've been flying over the United States. Okay. And forgot to turn my location thingy off. Okay. And I've gotten pictures from every state in the country. Oh, no. I did have that happen when I was in Baltimore. Oh, the whole, oh, the whole country. The whole country. You're in Colorado. Here's the boom, 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 boom. And you get to North Dakota. Boom, 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 boom. And you keep going across the country. And you can you go. You'll be onto something there because, you know, you're thinking about, I could live in Vegas. <laughs> oh. And then you're just like, take it, right? And I thought just... it was insane. I just thought it was insane. <laughs> And then somebody said to me, did you turn your location thing off? Oh, I, my God. I that's said, so funny. I said, I don't know. I didn't know there was a location. <laughs> that is funny. Well, I know. That is funny. Because if we go back to Maryland, and when I was doing Bumble, I would forget. And then all of a sudden, all these cute guys, and I'd be like, oh, man, they live here. Yeah. 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 So, but um, I like Bumble. I met someone, a millionaire match. That's what we weren't going to say, but I'll say it. Um, and it wasn't like, oh, a millionaire match. You know, people are like, oh, they're all millionaires. Let me see. you got this beautiful ring. Oh, I do. Yeah, I'm so yeah. excited. She's it's beautiful. Married. I don't know if I'm getting married. I'm in, um, I'm in. Usually when you I'm say yes and you get steady. a ring, you get you married. You know what? There's complications when you have other, when you have children. Because, you know, um, he's a widower. And so his children haven't embraced everything yet. So I'm not, I'm not the kind of woman that's going to be like, dad on it. We're doing it. No, I, I want everybody to have some sense of peace and, um, you know. Uh, I see. Yeah, like not not like they're just being thrushed into something or rushed into something. And and um, so I'm just taking it one day at a time. I see. Yeah. But um, but he and I feel very committed. Um, it's just that it's just, you know, it's just it's hard. It's and, you know, I, I don't know if I want the rest of my life for a, a future um, stepdaughter to never want to hang out with me or, you know, I don't know if I'm good with that. I think the kids are a very difficult situation. It yeah. can be, it can be great. Yeah. Like it was for Don and his wife. Um, I know people though that go, who gives a flying? I'm like, I know. well, you know, we're family people. We're you know? very family people. So I don't want to hurt anybody. Yeah. Um, but I'm, so I'm giving it time. We, we met. You don't want anybody around that facts. doesn't want you around. No. And not even, doesn't even want to meet me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, and I'm sharing a lot here, but you know, but that happens. And mm -hmm. there's been other times I dated a widower. I did. <laughs> I dated another widower and his children were so kind to me. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and just so happy to see their dad happy. Yeah, that's And I guess work. that's kind of, yes, With right? Mom. So that's what I was hoping for, and that's what I'm continuing to pray could possibly happen. Mm -hmm. So that's that's where that yeah. is. So. Well, we're going to continue the saga, and, uh, <laughs> and I will continue to follow whatever it is you're going to do and okay. follow your lead. Well, I'm glad. You need to stay on, pa on task. I'm older than you, but I am. Not by much. No. I am following your lead in, on this because this is a real new it is new and that's what i told you that it was so cute though when you first started because you're like holy moly he's cute he's cute and i was like oh um, good i had to get your mind off of stuff you know yeah that's what sisters are supposed to do well when someone dies that you love they've been mm. married to for a long time and they've been uh, sick for a long time but they keep getting well right then when they finally go it's a shock because it, yeah, they keep you're like, oh, well. you were, it was getting, he was back. like, I'm, sis, I'm back. All He'd the say to time. Me, sis, I'm back. I know. Yeah. And so that was just dread, dreadful, Ugh. you know? Yeah. And um, so I, I don't know. It's, but I it's know your tough. kids want you to be happy too. And everybody yeah. loves Ed and Ed is living with, in all of us. So. And he's sitting on the mantle. <laughs> yep. That's the thing about our family that I love so we keep much. people around. Yeah, I know. And I was talking about the other day and I think it was one of your beautiful girls said, Abby said, yeah, we just take dad everywhere, you know, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I like that, you know, yeah. He didn't want to just be in one spot. He wants to go where we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, you know, he would like that. He would. He would like that very much. So, 
<laughs> All right. Well, I'll keep you posted about what we're doing next. But this was a really fun day. I, I interviewed a lot of people. Good. And I uh, had a really good time. And tomorrow's another day. Yeah, it is. Thanks for being here, honey. I okay. want you to come back a lot. Okay. okay. I love you, honey. I love you, too. Love you. Thanks. So that's us. Thanks for watching. One Day to Love.